and remove my barrel. barrel. comes right out. Yes. Nice. Because I'm holding on five inches of the barrel, my return to zero is within a half minute of where I sighted it in. I have a three position gas block. I have an evacuation chamber. So what happens is when the projectile comes down, it gets about right here, it pressurizes. When it exits, I have angled ports, so it sends high pressure right here, forms a venturi, and moves all the nauseous gases forward. So you don't get that suppressor gassing in the face as bad. Okay, so to swap from 5.56 five, to 300 blackout is nothing more than pulling this out, popping it in the next one. Correct. Okay. So then, I pull this pin right here. I got an AR-15 compatible grip, so any grip you like. I ship with a trigger tech, two and a half to five pound single stage trigger. It's a beautiful trigger, but I could put in any AR-15, AR-10 trigger there. That's going to be my question. Yep. Right here, this is the most beautiful part, magwell. So this is set up for an SR-25 magwell. Now I go and I go throw on my smaller magwell for my Stanag mags, and, or my 8K magwell for my rocker mags, and I'm ready to go. The modularity of this yeah. is impressive. Well, thank you. I removed the action spring. Move in the bolt carrier group. <laughs> Sorry, this uh, breaks down in the same fashion as the AR-15. I remove the firing pin, the cam pin, and the bolt. So now, if I want to go from a 5.56 to 308, that's my conversion kit right there. Yeah. So Amazing. when I uh, reassemble this gun, what okay. I can do is, is I have a single dot there. And I have a single dot on this bolt. Okay. So I match those up and know that I got the right kit. So now I can come in, reassemble my bolt, grab my firing pin, or my cam pin, my firing pin, my firing pin spring, reassemble all this real fast. Test it. I come in, put my mag weld in, right there, karate chop it, it stays with the gun. Put in my bolt carrier group. Put in my action spring. It locks into the stainless steel here. All I have to do is throw in now my fire control module, put my takedown pin, come forward with my barrel, come back into that titanium trunnion, right. get it locked back. And what's it, four screws? Three screws. Three right? screws. Yep. And if I torque it to 80 inch pounds in the same sequence that right. I sighted it in at, I'm going to be within a half minute of where I aim, so I don't have to go and recite this whole thing. It functions, locks back, looking pretty good. Now, the only issue here, you can take it, it's, yeah. it's running. Yeah, I know. So the only issue then is if I'm swapping from 5.56 five, to 300 blackout, my optic is zeroed for 5.56. Five, yes. So, like, if I use applied ballistics, and then applied ballistics, I can go in and say where my zero is. And then I can go to my 300 blackout and say, oh, i got to move um, four mils up um, in elevation, maybe two to the right. So I can go to there and I run. I got it. Just document it. Got yep. it. Okay, good. May I handle yep. it? Thanks. 6.85 pounds. So it's definitely heavier than an AR-15. Yes. It's definitely lighter than an AR-10. So it's right there in the middle that does it all. May I drive fire it? I know it's clear. Yep. <laughs> it's always better to check. You don't want to yep. be like Alex Baldwin. Alex yes. Baldwin. <laughs> What's this? Okay, obviously, safe fire. What's that? I, I, um, I have an auto version of that. I can go all the way to the version. So okay. I just have a stop there. Don't turn it sideways. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep it that way. So you speak like you're more of an engineer than you are a marketing guy. Yeah. I designed this. So. Oh, you did. Oh. So you're you're pretty proud of it then. Well, cool. I never. I'm not. I'm always willing to call my baby ugly, but um, <laughs> um, but it, it, for a year and a half's worth of work, we we got a lot of innovation in one rifle. Uh, it's very sweet. This is stock extend. Yeah. So right here, ambidextrous. Okay. So don't push on both sides. Only on one side. Okay. So push on one side and then pull back here. Yeah. Got it. It's pretty cool. I like what it's you did here. It's very sleek. Thank you. Well, it's it. The modularity is unprecedented. In fact, if you go on the other side of this board over there, I have an AK mag weld that replaces this whole section. Rocker mag, and you run the 76239. Where does it stop? 
You got a six five three more version. So so every quarter I'm releasing new. So we're releasing five five six three hundred blackout three oh eight now. Right. Next quarter I have I've been running six five pre more eight six blackout seven six two thirty nine. That's the next release. Yeah. Um, eight six blackout taken off. You know what? We're seeing that ammo still hard to get uh, yeah. to do our full testing, and so we've been able to shoot. In fact, the gun over there on the tripod is an eight six blackout. Yeah, I've been thinking about, I would get into 8.6 uh, Blackout at the point that I can get dies and reload it, yeah. and it just seems a little scarce at this yeah. point. Uh, well, fantastic. Um, Corey, thank you very it. much. Yep. I'll give you a business card. Um, but more important than a business card, I'm going to give you a gun name. Um, little oh, nice. printed That's magnet. That's one of our inventions. Box. I like yep. that. Yep. Thank you. Just don't let the dog eat it, please. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get the vet bill. Hey, thanks for your business card. I'm sending you the vet bill. So, Corey, badass. Good good job. Keep up the good work, please. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thank yep. you. Have a good show. The end.